The seminar with the theme, Implementing the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, with focus on women in Nigeria, is aimed at addressing issues of gender equality and review strategies that will support a successful outcome. To this end, issues relating to assistance programs for women in internally displaced camps as well as education and legislation as a means of empowering women and the girl child were discussed. As more and more women um, are becoming entrepreneurs, um, more and more women are, are creating roles. Um, I mean, in terms of uh, taking positions in, in, in government and, you know, political leaderships, it's still a struggle. We, we still continue to create that awareness about the rights of women, the rights to education, the rights to health, the rights to ownership of economic uh, uh, resources like land and credit facilities. You don't make a decision regarding a woman if the woman is not there. It will be just be a decision made on paper or made because it's not going to work. If you want to help me, ask me how you can help me. Representative of the wife of Nigeria's president, Haja Meru Almakura, said the Nigerian government is doing everything possible to alleviate the sufferings of women and children through various policies and programs. The federal government of Nigeria is doing everything possible to uplift the women folks, free medical treatment for women in collaboration with the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Hajia Aisha Buhari, which we are going to undertake in the state. Former U.S. Congresswoman and Foreign Ambassador Dan Watson UNESCO liaison officer at the New York office, Lily Vachonova, an executive member of the Conservative Party in her borough, Modupe Ola Omoyele Afolabi, were among other keynote speakers who expressed optimism that the federal government will further strengthen the institutions responsible for the welfare of women and the girl child. Though this seminar is about women or gender equality, the women folk are saying, give a lifting hand to the next generation so that the world can be a better place as the women take their rightful places beside their men. From London, Bilkisu Abdurazak Uduoyi, NTA News.